what I really like, Emma, is you didn't let it go, right? It's, yeah, managing managing three kids in itself, especially when your husband has a tough schedule. It's like hurting. <laughs> and I remember the last time we spoke, you did talk a bit about how you worked through getting that commercial pilot license, working around the different schedules. And three kids means 10 different schedules. <laughs> so can you share a bit about that part? Because when you say that you got it, I'm sh- it, it sounds so much easier, but I'm sure it was really hard. It was hard work, absolutely. Because when I started flying for the second time, we were living in New Zealand, 12,000 miles away from our friends and family. So obviously we started to make friends when we were living there. But, you know, there's a big difference between saying to your next door neighbor that you've known for six months, can you watch the kids for me? And saying, mum and dad, can you come and do that? So I really had to just juggle. And I think that one of the things I often say to people is that we can have it all, but you have to make sacrifices. You can't actually be there and do everything and have the top level career as well. So the the sacrifices I made were basically my free time. I would drop the children off at nursery when we were living in New Zealand. They'd either go to nursery or to school. And then I would come home and I'd either go and have a flying lesson or I would study for the exams I had to sit. And I did that for three years. And sometimes I did that when my husband wasn't there. So I remember when I sat my private pilot's license flight test, that happened in the second week after he'd gone to Malaysia for three weeks. And in the first week, we moved house on the Monday. And the following week, I did my private pilot's license. And I really don't know how I managed to juggle all of that. But I suppose I just prioritized, you know, I've got to keep the children alive and I've got to keep them fed and I've got to keep them clean. And I've got to make sure that certain other things happen. And I just had to prioritize and fit in around everything else that was happening, the flying that I needed to do. And then we got to a point where it was a real struggle to work out how to do childcare and me work. So we made the decision to send our children to boarding school because I'd got my job with EasyJet by then and my husband had done an amazing job. I sort of disappeared off down. We were living back in the north of Scotland by then, which is where we are now. And my husband did an amazing job of juggling his full-time career with school drop-offs and pickups. And he was very lucky that the school they were at was next door to his office building. So that they, they just spent a lot of time in his office drawing on the whiteboard while they were waiting for him to finish work. But that was a real struggle for him and really for me as well, because it, I just worried all the time that yeah. he, he wasn't going to be able to do stuff with them or they would get bored or they wouldn't get to their clubs. So uh, actually, we have the boarding school six miles away called Gordonston. We just said that school is closest. We will send them there. And that's what we did. So that was the sacrifice really that I ended up making as a mother because I went from being the sort of mummy that made Play-Doh in a saucepan on the top of the stove and did finger painting with the children. And they were always allowed to get messy and explore the world. And suddenly I had no control over what they were doing with their lives. And in fact, sometimes I didn't even know where they were because I'd come home midweek for my days off. And I'd say to my husband, oh, I'm, I'm going to go to school and see Thomas. And he'd say, oh, no, you can't. He's on an expedition. He's not there. And I think, why would I not know this? I'm his mother. So, you know, it was a big learning curve for us all as a family when I first started working because I was working away from home as well. And then subsequently, my husband was posted down to England. So we left the children behind basically at boarding school and we came home every three weeks. One of us was always at home for either a, a, a leave out weekend or a, a school holiday or the end of term or the start of term, or they came down to us. And it, it was really hard, but we got into this routine where we understood that when the children were home for holidays, that was their time. So we didn't arrange anything for ourselves in that time. That was our time with our family. So we had to make that priority so that in order for me to be able to establish myself as a full-time airline pilot, 